Hello everyone. In the last videos, we have seen the chemical properties of acid and bases. So in this video, we are going to see what acid and bases have in common. For doing this, we are going to perform a simple activity. For this, we need a setup and the setup is a beaker with a rubber cork. Now this rubber cork has two nails in it and these two nails are connected through the 6 volt battery through a bulb and a switch. Now we also have four sample solutions which are alcohol, glucose, hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. Now the hydrochloric acid is an acid as you know and sodium hydroxide is a base. Now we will put this all four solutions one by one to see whether which solution conducts electricity. So let's perform the activity. Now when we pour alcohol into the beaker and turn on the switch, what we see? It does not conduct electricity. Now let's see with the glucose. We put the glucose and again it does not conduct electricity. Now let's put hydrochloric acid into the beaker. Bingo! It conducted electricity because the bulb is glowing. Now again try it with the sodium hydroxide. Again the bulb glowed. Now the glowing bulb indicates that there is a flow of current. The current flows due to the charged particles or the ions. Now the acid dissociates into cation which is hydrogen ions. Now these hydrogen ions are also responsible for the electric current. Now these hydrogen ions are only responsible for the acidic nature of the acids. In a similar way, when you talk of sodium hydroxide, it separates out into OH ions, which are the hydroxide ions. Now these hydroxide ions also conduct electricity and these hydroxide ions are only responsible for the basic nature. So you can say that these acid and bases dissociates into ions to conduct electricity. Now we have seen how these acid and bases conducted electricity. We are going to see how these acid and bases behave with water in our next video.